solving a word problem has such bad reputation among my, my students. So um, I always tell them, number one, you recognize that's not something you're going to enjoy. And number two, it, it's possible to be able to be get good at it. One of the first thing you want to do is draw pictures. Word problem has to have pictures. With pictures, you can grab the equations out. Let's read this one. Two cars left to the same place at the same time, one going north, one going south. And one is averaging 50 miles per hour, the other one is 60 miles per hour. So the question asks, how many hours before they'll be 600 miles apart? So let's right away put it into a picture. Okay, so they both left over here, one going north, one going south. The one going south is a little bit quicker. Okay, so after how many hours they'll be 600 miles apart? So even if nothing else, just, just draw this picture here. If you want to get a creative, draw a car, that's okay too. Anything to get your mind on freeze. Okay, whatever it takes. Let's see if we can draw a car over here. All right, so... Um, this car is going 50 miles at per hour, and it's traveling time of t. We don't know what a t is, right? T times this thing. That's the distance. It's kind of, I'm, I'm draw, drawing a drawing a distance diagram here. And this one is traveling 60 miles per hour, traveling a t. Okay, so the basic equation here. Let's move it on the side a little bit so you can see it. It's that distance is equal to speed times the amount of traveling time, okay? So distance for the car that's going north, that's going slower, is 50 miles per hour times the time it's gonna travel, plus the distance traveling for the southbound car is 60 miles per hour, and they're traveling the same time, same amount of time. Okay, and we want to know how long does it take so they're 600 miles apart. Once you get to this part, everything else is easy. So I always say to my students, if you have 100 points for this problem, getting the equation is almost 90 points or 90% of the work. Okay. And then solving the rest is 10% of the work. Now here, we're at 90%. I have 110, T is equal to 600. Okay, and then t is equal to 600 divided by 10, number of hours. And there's your answer. Okay, have a confident day.